Hey Nora, what the hell are you going to do about this? My daughter hasn't stopped crying since I got home. How dare you do this to my daughter? What? It's because you yelled at my daughter like that. That's why she's been sad and crying since we got home. What if this becomes a trauma and something happens to her growing up? How in the world are you going to take responsibility for this? What are you talking about? This is something good for Maria. I hope Maria will grow up from this. Huh? If you do something wrong, you get scolded. This is a normal thing. It seems like Maria doesn't even know what's good or bad yet. I hope this will be an opportunity for her to grow up. What's with your attitude? It's as if my daughter hasn't been taught any discipline. That's exactly what I meant. That's why today's trip was a disaster. What? I took my brother's family to Mouseland. And all day long, Maria was just being selfish. She pushed aside a guest in line and tried to cut in. She even opened a bag of merchandise and tried to eat it. She deserves a warning. There's no need to warn her at all. She was just having too much fun on our trip. She's usually so well behaved, so it's okay for her to act like that today. It's not fine at all. She caused a lot of trouble for people around her. And on the way home, she spilled a lot of juice in my car, and Maria didn't even apologize for that. As an aunt, I can't overlook that attitude. She should have been warned more severely. All you have to do is wipe up the spilled juice. Besides, you said it was a very old used car, and yet you yelled at her with such a scary face. I really felt sorry for my daughter. That's not the point. Besides, even though it's secondhand, it's a very popular car. It's a precious car that I saved up to buy. It's unforgivable that she made it dirty and didn't even apologize. You had to save up just to buy a car? That's why you'll never get married, Nora. A woman like me shouldn't get married and have children as soon as possible like me. A woman doesn't need a car. But thanks to my car, we were able to go out today. You were the one who asked me repeatedly to take Maria to Mouseland on her birthday. Although you keep saying that women don't need a car. Ah, you shut up. You can just rent a car once in a while. But if I know someone who has a car, they'll give a ride for free. That's why I ask you. But you made this day the worst day of my life. I had a bad day too. From now on, don't ever treat me like a free cab again. I will never get in that old car again. First of all, I want you to come and apologize to my daughter. I won't forgive you until you get down on your knees. Sorry about today, Nora. I'll pay for the gas, the driving, and of course the cleaning. Feel free to charge it to me. Thanks. In that case, I will charge you for it. And I'm sorry, but I don't want to see Abby again. You can tell her not to show up in front of me. Oh really? Never again? That's a bit much, don't you think? It's true that today was Abby's fault. But saying you'll never see her again is a little too aggressive, don't you think? I didn't make up my mind just because of today. I know you don't know everything because you're working away from home. But I've been getting into a lot of trouble with Abby and her family for some time now. They've been causing me so many problems that I can't take it anymore. What? Abby and her friends often come to my house unannounced. They go through the fridge and eat my cakes without even asking me. 
Of course, I tried to warn them, but they never listened to me. What? The other day, one of my little birds was attacked. I was taking my eyes off him for a second, and the kid plucked his feathers. Instead of apologizing, Abby said, "It's a pity to stop a child's interest. You have to put up with it for the sake of the child's education." No way. I can't believe Abby did that. I heard from Abby that you and Abby are getting along well. You even invited Abby to Mouseland today, right? No, you have it all wrong. She insisted on taking Maria there on her birthday. No matter how many times I told her no, she kept asking me to drive them there. I gave in and offered to drive them and go with them. Oh, I didn't know that. She is very difficult to me because whatever I say, she talks back to me, saying, "You don't have kids, so you don't understand how hard it is." I try not to get angry at all for the sake of my child's education. I'm really sorry about Abby and Maria. If that's the case, of course you can keep your distance. Besides, I'll let her know. In this case, it's probably best if they don't attend the wedding, don't you think? Would you be okay with me attending your wedding by myself? That would be very helpful. You saw what happened for lunch, right? Maria's already five, but she cries whenever she doesn't like the food. She throws food all over the place. I knew there was something wrong with her. I can't take her to the wedding like that. I hate to say it, but she's a little monster. Abby doesn't say anything to Maria, so she's becoming super selfish. Well then. Please take care of the rest. What have you done, Abby? You threw ink on my wedding dress. Thanks to you, my pure white dress is completely black. Oh, come on! Don't be so angry. I'm sure Maria didn't mean to do it. Why are you and Abby at the wedding in the first place? You two are supposed to be staying at home today. I heard from my brother that you were going to be absent. There's no way we're going to be absent. Maria had prepared a pretty dress for this occasion. Just because of your selfishness, we're not going to be absent. Maria needs to show everyone how pretty she is. What are you talking about? This is my wedding to begin with. I have the right to decide who to invite and who not to invite. Can't you at least think of the reason why you were asked to be absent? I don't care. In any case, why did you bring the ink? At least if you didn't do such thing. I've been sending Maria to a calligraphy class lately, and for some reason, she won't let go of the ink. She was so excited that she wanted to take it with her again today. I guess the cap was accidentally loose. I didn't expect it to be splashed on your dress. So you're saying that this was an accident? Maria was smiling and sprinkling ink on me. You know what? I think the dress looks even better with the ink. You look so cute in your white dress with that black mixed in. You look like a cow, huh? It's a wedding. Let's keep smiling. It's a child's act, so forgive her, please. It's a rather nice dress, and it suits you. You're done. What? Nora just left with a terrible look on her face. She said, "I'm sorry, but I'm going to finish your wife." She just shoved her phone in my face and ran to you. You should really prepare yourself. Oh, is this Peter? Damn it! Why are you here, anyways? I told you to stay home and be quiet for the rest of the day. Well, because I wanted to show off Maria's pretty dress. 
You wanted to see Maria in her pretty dress too, didn't you? I went to buy it just for today's wedding. Today is not Maria's dress unveiling day. It's my sister's once in a lifetime wedding. And you, you ruined it like this. I haven't seen my sister's face like that before. Your life is definitely over. It's not a big deal. She just stained it a bit. When I was in high school, I was already a regular in my team, and many students got jealous and started harassing me. I was about to leave the team and run away when I saw the same look on my sister's face as today. And let me tell you what happened after that. All the seniors who were harassing me got expelled from school. Their parents were very rich, so normally school won't do such a thing, but... But if? Whatever happens, I don't know anything about it anymore. I told you not to come to the ceremony today. And then you came and did this. It's all your fault. Nora! What the hell is this? Why did you send me a hundred thousand dollar bill? Wow, you already received it. I know it's a lot to pay, but good luck. You ruined the dress, so you deserve to be charged for it. Huh? There's no way I can pay such an amount of money. This amount for a dress is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Why? You actually ruined my wedding dress yesterday. Maria just accidentally spilled ink on it. It's something a kid did. It's wrong of you to charge me this amount of money for reimbursement. It's not just the dress. There were ink stains all over the wedding venue. I think it's a fair amount since it includes the cost of reimbursement. Like I said, this is something a kid did by accident. And yet you're complaining about it and charging for reimbursement. You are crazy for asking for it. It's your head that's crazy. What? It can't be held because it was a child's fault? I understand that, and so do the wedding hall and everyone else. That's why the parents take the responsibility, right? That's why they are there. The parents take the responsibility? No one is blaming Maria at all. No matter what she did, it's just something a five-year-old did. No matter how much discipline she lacks, no matter how cheeky or bratty she is, a child is a child after all. But you are an adult and the mother of a child. You are responsible for giving birth to that child and for raising that child. I hope you'll be mature enough to pay for the damage. No, 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 that's not right. Even if I am the mother of that child. Besides, it's something the child did. So why don't you ask me for around a thousand dollars or something? If you have a problem with the amount, can you tell the wedding hall? Please read the bill carefully. It's not me who's charging you for reimbursement. It's the wedding hall. But it's written on this bill. The breakdown includes consolation money for the bride and the groom. That alone is $30,000. Of course it is. The wedding hall is obligated to provide us with a pleasant ceremony. But they couldn't do that, so it's only natural that they apologize to us. And it's only natural that the wedding hall is charging that to you. It was worth crying in front of the staff of the wedding hall. What? The most wrong thing to do at that place was to accept your kid's wrongdoing. So I decided to cry in front of the staff for what your kid did. What? How I was hurt by this once-in-a-lifetime wedding. Why was there sloppy security that let in uninvited guests? I cried and got angry and showed them that it was a pretty big problem. 
It seems that the wedding hall is sincerely going to take care of it. That means you're the one who made them charge me this thirty thousand dollars. At first, they offered me ten thousand dollars as consolation money, but that's not enough to forgive. I cried a lot, got angry, and had a thorough discussion with the wedding hall. Thanks to that, we settled for thirty thousand dollars. No way. Well then, please get ready for the payment. The wedding hall has legal advisors. If you're reluctant to pay, be prepared to fight the professionals. Oh no! I'm afraid you'd reject the payment if I ask you personally. It's better to have a bigger presence come out to make sure of something like this. Well then, I'll leave it to it. I heard about the reimbursement. I'll definitely make her pay. Believe me. By the way, the ceremony hall is responding really fast. I didn't expect the bill to arrive today. These things get more and more complicated as time goes by. I helped the wedding hall to file the bill as soon as possible. After that, I provided them with the evidence they needed to make them happy. The evidence. I checked the phones and cameras of all the guests, and then there was a video that shone when Abby was making Maria practice pouring ink on the dress. What the hell? Reputation is the most important thing at a wedding venue. They don't want to file a claim unless they can provide that the stain was intentional. That's why they were so excited when I gave them the photos and videos. Now they can probably claim for reimbursement. That's why it happened so fast. Your energy is as strong as ever. When I was a student, you had hidden cameras attached to my bag and uniform, without my knowledge. You got them expelled from school with the evidence. In this world. It's meaningless to protest the truth without evidence. We have to provide evidence that they can't get away with. It's sad to say, but evil people have a sharp tongue, so we can't do anything without proof. You're a popular investigator who works for credit agency. But again, I'm really sorry about the wedding. I apologize because I couldn't stop her from entering the wedding hall. I'm sorry I made you wear a different dress instead of the one you wanted for the wedding. Oh, don't worry about it. The alternative was actually a very popular high-end dress, and I got to wear it at no extra cost because it was the only one I could afford. I was actually super lucky. Thank you for taking it positively. Anyway, I'll make sure she pays for the reimbursement. Please, Nora, you need to stop Peter right now. If not, all my clothes will be covered in ink. What? Peter is terrible. He said, "No matter how many times I warned you, you didn't change your attitude. So I have no option but to do this." And he started to pour ink all over my clothes and bags. Oh wow! I can't believe he is doing that. How could you be impressed by it? No, my clothes. They are the high brand clothes that I bought secretly while he was away. Oh, you had something like that? What's wrong with a mother having high brand clothes? Raising a child is very hard work. I can't do it without a reward like this. That's why I was asking my husband to send a lot of money. But now he found out that I was using them for high-end brands. What? You were doing such a thing? Peter got even angrier and couldn't handle it anymore. He told me to throw away all the expensive cosmetics and told me to use the ink to put on makeup from now on. Everything I have is a mess. Wow, he's really pissed off. Nora. 
I'm sorry about the wedding. It was just a little harassment. So please, come stop him right now. If that's the case, I won't go stop him. I'm going to intentionally let you off the hook just to harass you a little. What? Please go ahead and get covered in ink and feel sorry for yourself. And please tell Maria with your own mouth how sad it feels. That's what education is all about. Children grew up watching their parents' backs. Oh no! Well, I leave you now. My brother asked the company and came back to his family. And as for Abby, she started working to pay off the debt since incurred under my brother's supervision. Abby was not allowed to buy new clothes. By the way, with the help of her parents who live nearby, she was able to enroll her in the daycare center. Thanks to them, she seems to be gradually learning social skills. And now she says to Abby, Mommy, you shouldn't make a mess of other people's things. <laughs>